What's up guys? I've got a very simple but necessary project on my plate this week that I gotta take care of. My mom has needed a computer upgrade for quite some time now. I just haven't had the time to get around to it until now. So some things that I needed to keep in mind with what I'm building for her is that mainly it has to be small. She lives in a very small cottage and the computer that I had built for her in the past is a pretty big tower and it takes up a lot of space. I actually tried a Raspberry Pi 4 as a desktop replacement for her but it's just not quite there yet and what I settled on was this thing right here. It's a Dell Optiplex 7010. I picked it up off of eBay and it's an ultra small form factor PC. It's packing quite a bit of punch for as small as it is and I got a pretty good price on it too. I ended up paying 89 bucks for the PC which comes without a hard drive but I spent another 20 on a solid state hard drive so this thing should zip along pretty well once we get it all put together. So this is the PC that I got from my mom. It's a Dell Optiplex 7010 ultra small form factor and the small form factor was the most important part of this build. I picked this one up for 89 bucks used and I wanted to post an eBay link but the listing has changed for this particular auction since I purchased this one and unfortunately they're listed at $120 now for the buy it now from this particular vendor. What I'm going to do is just post a link to an overall search for this model of PC. So it's got a third generation Intel quad core i5 at 2.9 gigahertz, an Intel Q77 Express chipset, and this sale shipped with 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Okay, here's the box as it arrives, so let's pop it open and take a look inside. Alright, we get a power cable. That's good. I don't have to go hunt for one now. Looks like they've also included a display port to HDMI adapter. And some sort of little USB dongle here. Oh, it's a Bluetooth adapter. Well, that's nice. I wasn't expecting that. So as you can see here, it's got a couple of dings from everyday use. This is an off-lease item, so it is what it is. So I'm not too worried about that. I want to pop it open and take a look inside. So take off this retaining screw and slide off the top cover. Pretty clean. Just a little bit of dust in the fan, but not really that bad at all. So this sale didn't include a hard drive, so I gotta figure out where the hard drive is supposed to sit. Okay, so there are two tabs here up top. And then this other squeeze tab down here. Looks like if I just pop those out. Yeah, there we go. On the bottom there are these little hook tabs that hold it in place. I hope you can see those. Now this drive tray should just lift out of there. There we go. That was pretty painless. Okay, the hard drive just sits in there. That's easy enough. So it's got four gigabytes of RAM here. Those just pop out like normal by pressing these little clips down and outwards. I scrounged through my parts pile and it must have been my lucky day because I have 8 gigabytes on hand that I can throw in here. That'll be a nice little upgrade for her. And they just push into the slots the same way the old ones came out. And this is the hard drive that I picked up for her. It's 120 gigabytes which for her basic use this will be well more than enough. And it's a solid state drive so it should be pretty snappy. The hard drive just sits in here like this. I have to kind of prop the drive up with a screwdriver so I can get the mounting screws started. Then the cables just snap in like, um, well, let me try to get a better view for this part. That's the power cable. I got it plugged into the hard drive already and and that's the data cable. I hope you can see that okay. There's not much cable to work with here. 
And now I should be able to snap it all back together. Uh, the hard drive just drops in like this. And then for this faceplate, we just line up the bottom tabs here. And then swing. Uh, swing the faceplate up and snap it in with the top tabs here. Like that. Now we slide the lid back on and replace the retaining screw. And we're good to go. And now we can get the operating system installed. So I've decided to go with Manjaro Linux for this. I want something lightweight, fast, and easy to use with a lot of software options. Really, my mom only uses Chrome for Facebook and Gmail, and to look at news websites. And oh yeah, her most important thing that she must have on every computer is a clock screen saver. So I think Manjaro adequately covers all of those bases. And keep in mind that this is a pretty versatile hardware set in this PC, so you should be able to install pretty much any other Linux distro without any real problems, or you can download the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool and install that if you want as well. When it comes to your OS, you do you. I downloaded the Manjaro ISO, and I'm using Belina Etcher to flash the ISO to a USB stick. I've covered this part on quite a few of my other videos, and it's really very cut and dry. I'm not going to go over that again here. After that's finished, I'm going to plug in the USB installer into the Dell Mini PC and run through the installer setup. I've covered Linux installations in a few of my other videos as well, so I'm going to breeze through this part too. But it's basically read the step, fill in the blank, and proceed to the next step. If you would like detailed instructions on installing Linux step-by-step, step, see my video, Linux for the Absolute Beginner. Most modern Linux distros follow basically the same process for every installation. Alright, we've got our operating system installed. I'm just going to take it on a short test drive and make sure everything is working okay. And for my own curiosity, see how fast everything runs on this hardware. Hey, well it passes my test, and it's head and shoulders above her old system in the performance department. And best of all, it won't take up much space in her small cottage. So guys, I'm going to wrap this video up, but before I do, I want to give a quick shout out to all of my supporters on Patreon who help make these videos possible. If you want to help out on Patreon, there will be a link in the description below. Keep in mind that donations are greatly appreciated, but never expected. If you would like to help support my channel, the best way you can do that is to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.